Here we are at the foothills of uh, Annapurna South. A few of us trek to Kagbusandi Lake, a spectacular place. And we are camped here for two days. Every muscle in my body screaming at me and asking, why the hell do you bring us here? But my heart rejoices with a rapture of a completely different sort. Heart overflows with ecstasy, but body screams in pain <laughs> These mountains, if you look at them a thousand times over, your mountain lust will not be gone. Someone asked me, why are you going there every year, Sadhguru? I said, it's Himalayan lust <laughs> And even in the group, though we have tried to prevent this, still I think there are five or six people out of thirty-five who are coming here for second or third time <laughs> because once the mountains catch you, they really have you in some kind of a submission. As the mountain peaks are spilling water from their snow-capped tops, I've been spilling a little bit of poetry. Not as white, bright and beautiful as them, but this is me, I'm not a Himalaya. <laughs> so here, let me read one for you. I haven't done this in a long time, huh? Home at Hyundai. The valley floor of Hyundai seems like home to me, who is being drawn to these less traveled trails among these spectacular mountain peaks. Ever since he invaded my breath and being and drew me into his cosmic breast, I am like an infant in the comfort of a loving mother's womb, not a care about life or death, unfettered even by longings of the beyond, as here has become beyond and beyond is here. Well, looking at the beautiful Annapurna peak, I'm calling this Annapurna, snow-clad peak of Annapurna revealing its fair face for a moment and going behind the veil of cloud the next, playing the shy bride forever until the photon force of the sun momentarily unveils her glorious face to enthrall all momentarily though. Let me spoil your week with one more poem. Mountain lace. Snows melt to cover the bare mountain face with the white lace of streams large, or trills thin and sinuous. This fragile lace of white water turns into torrential river that all shall fear and respect. It's very difficult to explain what mountains can do to a person. I don't know if you can ever call a man a man who has never been to the mountains. For ages this has been so. I beseech everyone, particularly the youth of the nation and the world, to have some kind of a romance with some mountain, a mountain that challenges you, a mountain that draws you, a mountain that makes you submissive by its sheer size, strength and presence. Welcome to Himalayas, all of you. <laughs>